hear the noise squeaking like a tire squeaking and stuff, squealing, you know, and then boom, just like that. Right now on CBS 2 News at 5 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, a small plane crashes into a backyard coming dangerously close to homes in the city of Hemet. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Juan Fernandez. Well, when that plane plunged into their neighborhood, two homeowners sprung into action, rescuing the pilot who was on fire. And one of them talked exclusively to us about the incident. He says was only mm -hmm. a matter of time. CBS 2's Rena Nakano was live on the scene in Hemet with the one on one and the video you won't see anywhere else. Rena. Hey guys, yeah, we now know that the pilot who remains in critical condition was headed from Redlands Airport to uh, Hemet Ryan Airport when this crash happened right here. Uh, I spoke to the fire chief who said he was very thankful for the neighbors who risked their lives to help the pilot. Just two months after he moved into his new home on Old Wagon Road in Hemet, Gene Barron is spending the next few days at a hotel because of this. Just after 9.30 Tuesday morning, he saw a single engine plane smash into his next door neighbor's backyard. I hear the noise squeaking like a tire squeaking and stuff, squealing, you know, and then boom, just like that. It was uh, everything. It was windows shattered, rocks come in the house. Barron ran outside and with his neighbor, doused the engine with his garden hose. He says they also helped the pilot who was conscious and speaking, but on the ground. His whole body was on fire. And they're just covered with flames. Within minutes, Riverside County Fire and Hemet Fire Departments rushed to the scene. They stopped the fire before it spread to nearby homes. The occupants were taken to safety, and we're happy to report that there have been no additional injuries at this time. We're told the pilot was the only person in the Beechcraft Model 77 aircraft. He was first driven to an area hospital, but was later flown to Arrowhead Regional's burn center. I just pray that he lives because. You know, he was a lot covered in fire. Barron says Tuesday's crash is exactly what keeps him up at night. He's hoping the airport changes its flight paths in the future so crashes like these never happen again. I always had an issue think is some going to crash in the planes because they, they just they fly low a lot. You know, it's like you'd almost see the person inside the airplane. And Hemet police tell me that they will close off Warren Road here until at least tomorrow morning. They say that is when a representative from NTSB will be coming in from Seattle to start their investigation as to how and why this whole thing happened. Reporting live in Hemet, I'm Rena Nakano. Pat and Juan, I'll send it back to you. All right, Rena, thank you.